Welcome back everybody to the Volvo sleeper build where we are building a 600 horsepower turbo LS powered of all those station wagon using parts entirely from eBay. This build is brought to you by eBay. In the last video, we got a Ford 88 solid axle, started fabricating some parts to put this into the Volvo. And we needed to do this because, well, the stock axle wasn't gonna be able to hold all the power that LS is gonna make and launching it at the drag ship with big slicks. So today we are going to finish putting this axle into the car. Right now I gotta lay some beads on these brackets, then finish assembling the arms and then we can test fit it. Ladies and gents, the axle is in. I mean, kind of, it's just none of the bolts are actually tight. Um, it's being held up by a jack and some bungee cord, but it's in and it does articulate. Before we can really test it, we have to go ahead and make the shock mounts, or I should say the coilover mounts. So we've got these bad boy coilovers and they go in right like that. So it goes bottom bolts there and then we'll weld brackets to the frame up there. Now you can tell the pinion angle is way off. So before I make the coilover mounts, I'm gonna go ahead and try to correct that by shortening the upper arms and lengthening the bottom ones. <laughs> Adding the TV to the shop was a good move. Now we gotta make some brackets. All right guys, the coilover mounts are tacked in. They're heavily tacked in. I did one little bead on each plate. So I'm gonna put the coilovers back in without the springs on them. And then I can take the transmission jack out from underneath the axle and we can see it in the car by itself and we can cycle suspension, make sure everything works. It's in there. All by itself, ladies and gents. I'm just gonna jack it up from the middle all the way. Well, that's as high as the jack can go, but it doesn't seem to be binding, just going straight up. So now I'm gonna jack up just the passenger side. We want the axle to be able to go like this without binding. So, now what we have to do, we have to make a pan hard bar to make sure that this axle stays where it's supposed to stay. Then we take it all apart, fully weld everything, and paint everything. And you know, I know the axle is rusty and it doesn't look that cool right now, but just seeing this beefy of an axle under a Volvo wagon, <laughs> guys, it looks so freaking cool. It just looks so beefy. <laughs> it's so, so, so awesome. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I mean, everything is just so beefy. 
Honestly, I think the weakest point of this is now the stock chassis mounts, which we will improve before launching it. So friends from Kankakee have arrived. Kankakee cornfield guys. Kankakee cornfield guys. <laughs> we got the LS off of the pallet, which was a little difficult, but it is off. They're gonna go ahead and work on removing the factory harness and then pulling the trans. So the plan is to run a Holly Terminator system on this, which is just super easy, super simple. And then I actually bought a Corvette clutch. So I wanna see, make sure that works before we move forward. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right tube bending die, so I had to use the Harbor Freight tube kinker, um, but it actually worked out pretty good. So it goes to the factory location up there, then I welded a bolt to the housing. I'm gonna reinforce that, obviously, but it's tacked together, so now we can cycle the suspension. If it passes this test, we can take it all apart, weld it all up. So ladies and gents, we got a working four link suspension. It hit full compression in the middle and hit full compression one side and then the other side. Meanwhile, Dan was over here. We got the new clutch on, the transmission on. And we pulled the intake off because we're gonna go ahead and test fit this thing. Look at how clean this motor is. There's like no oil whatsoever or no grease, no, no buildup of anything. 60,000 miles on this bad boy. It's looking like in order to fit on a cross member, we're gonna have to get a different oil pan. I think it's gonna fit with a brake booster, but I think we'll have to remove the brake booster to get it in. I think it's definitely gonna fit with the steering shaft. Yeah. Well, this is why it's valuable to test fit before you actually wanna put it in, because now I know I have to order shit before I can put it in.
So a bunch of progress has been made. The axle is painted over here and damn, does it look just so much better. And then over here, I finished welding the brackets for the shocks and went ahead and undercoated those. Then that is still drying. Anyway guys, it's Saturday night and I've been working since 9 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna relax, hang out with Audrey and maybe some other people and I'll see you tomorrow morning. guys i've got to turn my microphone on <laughs> definitely the first time i've done that mistake definitely but the axle the forelink it all works beautifully we might need to adjust some things alignment preload get new wheels to uh get you no know, poke but it works it, it works great the ride height and everything is good uh, the car's got some kelly lean right now because there's no weight up front but Putting a nice big V8 up there will fix that. Now, obviously this setup isn't 100% complete. None of the bars are painted. We don't have the brake lines. We don't have the brakes themselves, but all the fabrication is done and this thing looks just so sweet in here. I am, I'm really proud of this actually. I'm really happy with the results. It's so cool that every time I build something, it just gets better. Not saying that this is the most amazing thing ever, but it's way more amazing than anything else I've built in terms of quality and all that. So it really makes doing this stuff fun for me. And man, I can't wait until these bad boys are slicks and then just wah, bah, 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 bah. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today. We got the solid axle in and the car on the ground. In the next video with this car, we are gonna try to get that LS to fit. So we're gonna modify the oil pan, modify the subframe on the Volvo, and hopefully mount the LS in the car. And of course, if you guys wanna watch that video right now, you can head over to Patreon, it is up there. Huge thank you to eBay for sponsoring this build and making this build possible. Remember, everything is bought off eBay. If you guys want to build an awesome car, you can do it all through eBay. So check the link in the description for them. Check out the merch. This is not available anymore, but it's still merch. And thank you guys so much. Goodbye.